Hi guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Motion video. Today is going to be another tutorial on After Effects. Um, yesterday's video went quite well on After Effects, I think. I, I thought it went quite well. Um, and a lot of people seem to seem to like that. So we're doing another one. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of these actually. Some of them will just be little quick videos with little quick tips. Some of them will be slightly more in detail and stuff like that. Um, just depending on what um, what I have in plan for the video. So today we're actually going to do a bit of an effect. Um, this is a text transition, um, one which I use quite a lot, and I did use in the la in the last sort of edit video, which was the plan video, the start of the week one, the first video of the week. Um, and it's called Decode. Now, Decode is a default effect in After Effects, and it's very, very cool. Um, it's one which I use quite a lot, um, and can be used in many different ways. So, we're going to create a new composition. Uh, we'll just have it about a minute long, 29 frames per second, and 720p. Uh, in this composition, I'm going to make a new solid, um, and I want this to be... We'll go with... A purpley, pinky purpley color. Okay, click OK. Alright, so we've got our pinky purpley color, and I'm going to write on here um, something. We'll write uh, tutorial. And we're going to use it, do that in our Alcine font. Alcina font? Whatever it's called. Uh, very cool font, I use it in a lot of my videos. Right, so we've got that. Tutorial. Now, basically, what I like to do is I like to add a motion blur to this. So when it's transitioning, it looks like it's like blurring and it kind of adds a bit more impact to it. So we're going to click this button here for motion blur. And we're also going to click that on the actual tutorial link itself. Now what we can do is we can go over to effect, uh, not to effect, to effects and presets over here. This is the simplest way to do it. Um, just wait for it to load. Mine's a bit slow. Right, and once that's loaded, we need to type into here decode. And we're going to get this one called decode decoder fade in, which is our animation for it. Uh, we can click on this and hold down and drag it onto our tutorial there. And you'll notice our tutorial goes. Now, by default, it will just automatically do the decode for you, which is very, very cool. But say if you want it to sync to a music beat or something like that. You're going to have to change this a little bit. You might want to change the timer on it. And we can also see the motion blur makes it look pretty cool as well. It's kind of like fading and blur. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on this drop down menu here. We're going to go to text. We're going to go to animator 1, which is our decoder effect. Then we want to go on range selector. And this is our actual keyframing for it. So if I extend this to up here, it will go very, very slowly across that time. If I shorten it to down here, it will go very, very quickly. And I like mine to be kind of, kind of fast, kind of slow. Depending on how long the word is, it makes a difference and stuff like that. However, we can make it do some cool stuff. So we can add an extra keyframe, which makes it uh, maybe we want it to be, um, I don't know. We want to add another keyframe there. And we can pull that back or something like that. So it kind of goes fast and then it goes slow towards the end. And you can really play around with the keyframes in this um, because there's a lot of different things you can do and stuff like that. You can also change the opacity and stuff like that um, of it, which is very, very cool. The decode effect is one which I like to use a lot. That's been your After Effects quick tip episode. Uh, basically, the decoder effect, very, very awesome. Try to use it as much as possible because, wow, it looks awesome. And especially if you're having loads of cool twitches on stuff, if we add a twitch and stuff like that, it's going to look pretty cool. Maybe you could use it in this sort of scenario. It'd look cool in some sort of um, high-action sort of trailer of some sort. But yeah, 
that's all for this video guys. More tutorials coming very very soon. Tomorrow I have two tutorials which are going to be very very similar. Um, one of them, hopefully if all goes well, is going to be installing plugins on a vanilla server for Minecraft. Um, I know a lot of people, you a lot of you already know how to do that, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible for you guys. Um, the other video is also installing plugins on a Feed the Beast server, and we're going to do these for the latest 1.6 updates, apart from the Feed the Beast one, of course. Um, so, Feed the Beast one is a little bit trickier, and not many people know how to do that, and there's not many decent tutorials on that on the internet, so I'm going to try do one which will be good for everyone, basically. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.